same. About the same. About the same. Zach's good. Uh, Joy hit the uh, uh, flips today, which means the ball was moving towards him to stationary. Mm -hmm. Threw again. Throwing's not going to be an issue. I think he feels like he could do that right now. So the plan is to probably go to coach's BP either Friday or Saturday. And if he responds well to that, then you know we're in pretty good shape. So the fact it makes it a lot more imminent then. The fact that Seth is the same, is that, what are your thoughts? Is that good or is that bad? Or? It's probably worse. I don't know, is it half empty or half full, right? No, but it's, uh, I think, uh, you know, if there's not some improvement between now and tomorrow, we we'll have to think about making an adjustment. You've, uh, <clears throat> this is the third straight time that you've uh, had Caleb with Wade. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Not well, by design. Not by design. But I know Caleb likes throwing to both of them. I mean, have you? But I really wanted to. It was the big thing, John and I decided last night that we wanted to give uh, Wellington a day. He's caught, I think, caught like nine of the games on the road. And he would like to have him full speed tomorrow. Plus, he gives us a really good option off the bench as a special guy against left-handed pitching. I tell you, you compare him with guys against left-handed pitching and. In baseball, he's right up there in the leaders. Uh, I think people might have missed how good an offensive guy he had a chance to be. But no, it's more about uh, about uh, getting Wellington. He got I almost didn't play him yesterday, but I want him against the left-hander. He got foul foul ball off the inside of his palm. I don't know if y'all remember it in the game. He was pretty sore yesterday. I want to get him back and make sure he's ready for tomorrow. But have you seen a little bit of, of, of chemistry between Caleb and, and, and Wade? The yeah, that's stars? not going to develop here. Okay. It just won't happen. It won't let it happen. I'm not going to have a pitcher come in and tell me who they want to throw to and who they don't. That hasn't happened. But I've seen that in the past with teams, and that's a recipe for uh, excuses. And it's not going to happen. Trust me. Hey, Buck, uh, Wade, Wade Miley, seven walks his first start, no walks his second start. Anything in particular? So that means he to... should have three and a half no, tonight? No, 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 no. Anything, was there anything in particular that led to better command? You know, I wish it was that simple job. We would have went out after his second walk and straightened it out. But uh, you know, there's a lot of factors, I'm sure. You know, the guy's coming off a lot of illness. He's, he's kind of gotten his step. You know, there's a lot of, with the off days, and there's just a lot of things that take guys out of the routine. The first seems like a couple of weeks of the season. I don't know. You know, are, are we assured that he's not going to walk seven tonight? I don't know. Are you sure that that Gosman's going to go six or seven innings? No, it didn't happen. Are you sure that uh, Ubaldo's going to struggle? No, we're not. I mean, it's human beings. We play games. That's why we show up and and things happen every night. If you'd have told me last night that you know we were going to strike out 16 times and win, I'd have taken that bet. You know, so. Like Billy said a long time ago, let's go out there and see what the boys have in store for us tonight. Knowing how difficult it is to win scoring three runs or less, is that encouraging the start that you're off to? Yeah, yeah, you can always say there's some things that aren't functioning at, at uh, a consistent level that we know we're capable of, but, you know, maybe something's performing better than people perceived it might have. It all it all evens out over the long haul. You try not to get take a small sampling and... Uh, and say it's going to play over the long haul, but I'll take every start I can get like Ubaldo's. It's like somebody the other day was talking about one of the conference calls I had about how, you know, managers are developing five and six inning starters or four and five. So they, and all three managers on the phone call said, uh, excuse me, uh, well, uh, I think I was the only one that actually spoke up. So, so do you think that we are trying to develop. we'll take every Ubaldo start we can get we'll take every Garrett start we can get you know if they could do it in 95 pitchers or something but you're also trying to protect investments you know pitching to got 140 innings and five 140 pitchers in five innings you're not protecting an investment there right but it's uh people are very you know it's kind of depends on what's the flavor of the month there'll be another stat out next week